Hello, dear ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers for an opportunity to take part in this conference. I would like to say that uh, it has been quite um, quite spontaneous and uh, unforeseen, and I, you will understand why. So HPV is a um, uh, heterogeneous um, type of viruses. At the moment, we know uh, over 300 um, types of HPV, which are uh, can be detected in reptiles, in mammals. The cross infection is not marked, and this particular infection is an anthropogenic uh, one. So the source of infection is uh, an infected uh, person with clinical manifestations or asymptomatic area. At the moment, we have approximately 180 types of papillomaviruses. There is some conditional subdivision of HPV by the extent of oncogenic activity. This is high, low, and middle. Uh, HPV genome is organized quite uh, simple. It's uh, uh, round, uh, roundish uh, DNA with, with eight frames, reading frames with three functional uh, parts. Uh, e part is coding E7 uh, e, and L uh, side it's coding the structural uh, proteins uh, L1 and L2, and also the long regulating part with the cyst regulating elements which are needed for the replication of the viral DNA. Uh, HPV is, uh, can uh, be an independent form and also it can be uh, an integrated form uh, as a nucleus of the host. So only the integrated one can be transformed into a malignancy. Despite the topicality of this particular uh, topic, the uh, uh, information about prevalence of HPV, uh, exact figures are absent because we have just two clinical manifestations. And that actually means that we have selected studies and uh, selected uh, uh, just uh, estimated uh, figures. So first of all, we need to understand that we study HPV in related to the malignancies in women. When it comes to the prevalence of HPV among men, take into account that it can also result in different malformations and malignancies being among them. Uh, this is the question that is not paid attention to. Just like many other sexually transmitted infections, it is m more frequently transmitted from men to women than vice versa. Uh, papillomavirus uh, among uh, homosexual couples are not actually mm, convincing. So results of some uh, foreign studies about HPV in men are uh, shown here. Obviously, that all diagnostic methods have their advantages and disadvantages. That's why the complex of uh, diagnostic studies is used usually. The most cynical, uh, simple one is uh, visual and uh, clinical forms, uh, and some clinical could be recognized, but this method do not give prognosis, do not, do not help to understand the type of the process. Uh, there are other physical uh, examinations, they're cheap, we can uh, work with the pathologum, we can judge about pathological uh, tumors, so we then can uh, think at the later stage about uh, uh, cytology, uh, uh, here, it's not very easy to carry out it properly. It's uh, difficult to standardize, uh, to meet uh, necessary standards, uh, high qualification necessary. Uh, of course, it's not very sensitive, uh, 40 to 60 percent, and uh, we have now different standards regarding screening tests. In my view, LBC could change
change the situation. Histolo histological method could become a golden standard, but it's expensive, and so uh, we do not. We should forget. Uh, shouldn't forget about the targeted collection of material, and we remember that antibodies to the HPV could be found only in 10, 15 percent of infected on protein B7. It's difficult for clinical laboratories, uh, and our routine practice uh, is mole molecular biological uh, methods. Three groups we have here. Uh, uh, Non-amplification, one dot block, thousand, uh, thousand block uh, hybridization in situ on filter and in uh, tissue amplification, PCR, for example. Uh, so some of them uh, are difficult, are labor consuming, only in scientific laboratories. Amplification of PP, uh, Sierra. LCL and signal amplification. It's a uh, uh, digene hybrid capture system is an example of such methods. Um, among amplificational methods, uh, we know about PCR, all of us. It's uh, widely used, and uh, pr principle is uh, the following chemo amplification uh, of uh, chemiluminescent signal from molecular probe, uh, synthesis from primer, and methods allowed to find out non or the number of different different types of HPV hyperdiagnostics could be here as well. Up to 60 percent on infectious uh, uh, cases result in elimination of virus. It's transitory. We know it's uh, any kind of biomaterial could be used. Uh, signal amplificational methods connected with the uh, amplification of chemiluminescent uh, signal from uh, the molecule of uh, probe. Five uh, stages, lysis denaturation, hybridization, hybrid between virus, uh, DNA, RNA, uh, capture monoclonal uh, bodies, binding with a marked uh, uh, antibodies. Mm. It's, uh, such system allowed to carry out uh, very high quality studies. Computer interpretation is uh, uh, possible now, uh, subjective approach, and it's very specific. Digen uh, system is a gold standard in diagnostics of HPV. According to the developers, of this test the material is uh, following its uh, samples from uh, uh, cervix and bioptate uh, since July 2020 we started serious project it's screening diagnostics of uh, uh, HPV in women of high uh, risk regarding development of cancer it's parallel study of biomaterial with PCR and digest uh, test. We are in the beginning, and as of today, uh, we examined uh, 351 women. Coincidence between different math uh, methods regarding detection of HPV. Uh, here it is. We found it in 85 uh, percent of cases. Uh, uh, lack of coincidence in 15. Uh, Digen uh, positive, PCR negative. Why? In Digen, we have 68 uh, type of HPV. There is uh, this type is not included in PCR. So this uh, uh, discordant it's, uh, could be connected with a transit a nature of virus. Uh, uh, Eleven viruses uh, are always detected in minimal numbers. And our impression in our laboratory regarding the methadigen test, it's uh, despite what developers write, it's labor consuming method, uh, handmade labor, um, and uh, 
a very high dependency on the human factor. It takes 60.5, sometimes up to eight hours uh, needed. Number of samples do not affect time. It's very expensive. But uh, this method in the Russian Federation uh, is validated and uh, considered to be golden standard PCR in real time. It's automatical process, automated up to 3.5, maybe 4 hours, three times cheaper. But despite all the advantages of this method, this uh, uh, test system is not validated in Russia. Uh, so a couple of words about what we are dealing with, what we are dealing with in our laboratory. Uh, PCR uh, scheme uh, was introduced to the laboratory in 2016 for HIV, hepatitis, respiratory uh, viruses, uh, flu, para, uh, virus, corona, uh, viruses were started, started being started herpes and uh, STD infection including HPV every year more than 40,000 studies uh, are done in our laboratory. During five years, we studied 1,800 people for STD. Of them, uh, only 17 men were examined. A laboratory has three types of commercial test systems for diagnostics H I HPV. It's quality test where 12, 12 types uh, and qualitative when we are uh, estimating, when we estimate uh, the concentration and uh, 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 different systems include different uh, types. Uh, 16,000 studies were uh, done, 150 accounted for men. In the, uh, independent tests only for HPV were not prescribed and one were not carried out. So laboratory diagnosis of HPV, including types with oncogenic potential, is not a difficult task. Uh, so the issue is connected.